kidneys are used to filter water and electrolytes. The filter that is used is called the nephron. The nephron funnels water to the bladder to be excreted. Water enters the nephron from the bloodstream at the glomerulus. From there, it will either funnel all the way through the nephron to be excreted, or it will be reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. The difference between water passing all the way through the nephron or being reabsorbed into the bloodstream depends on where sodium goes. Sodium also flows through the nephron, and wherever sodium goes, water will follow. So if sodium passes through the nephron and is excreted, water will also pass through the nephron and get excreted. If sodium is reabsorbed into the bloodstream, water will also be reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Why does it matter where water goes? Because an increase in the amount of water in the bloodstream will increase blood volume. An increase in blood volume causes increased blood pressure, or hypertension. Hypertension looks like this. The blood vessels are tightening here. Watch how the blood vessels go from a wider, more open state to a tighter, more closed state. The tightening of the blood vessels is called vasoconstriction. The tightening of the blood vessels makes it more difficult for blood to pass through them and causes more pressure on the blood vessels. So tighter blood vessels equals higher blood pressure. Let's look at the nephron to see what we can do about this. Let's recap. Water enters the nephron and will either be excreted or go back to the bloodstream based on where sodium goes. In general, the role of diuretics is to keep sodium locked into the nephron so that water is locked in as well. This will allow water to pass through and be excreted and not reabsorbed. There are a couple of different ways that diuretics keep sodium in the nephron. In these areas, there are transporters that transport sodium out of the nephron. Loop diuretics, thiazides, and potassium sparing diuretics block this transporter and keep sodium locked in the nephron. Here, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors inhibit the enzyme carbonic anhydrase from causing a reaction that will allow sodium to leave the nephron. Here, in addition to potassium sparing diuretics, the collecting duct also utilizes aldosterone to allow sodium to leave the nephron. Aldosterone antagonists will block that reaction. Diuretics reduce the blood volume in the system by keeping water in the nephron and excreting it. The blood vessels open up and blood pressure decreases. <laughs>